you know, in the, in the 50s and 60s, when, uh, before we really had space flight, and mm -hmm. we used telescopes to look out across the solar system. And the, the scientists of the day looked, and they couldn't find any oceans anywhere. Yeah. And the Earth is unique. It turns out uh, the Earth is unique, it's, it, but it's a weirdo. It wears its oceans on the outside. <laughs> oceans are common, but they're on the inside. <laughs> Sorry, and yeah. the interesting thing about those oceans, and I've written a, a couple of scientific papers on this, is the, that you don't, the, the concept of a habitable zone is very geocentric. Of course. Right? A warm, liquid water inside of worlds that can, in principle, um, uh, seed the development of biology, mm -hmm. can take place anywhere in the solar system, even at Pluto with a surface temperature of 400 Fahrenheit, minus 400 Fahrenheit. Um, if that ocean is really there, as we strongly suspect, um, it could be an abode for life. So it actually changes our perception again that we should not be so geocentric. We should it's not be so myopic or, or so solipsistic in the sense that we assume we are what 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 that we are necessarily typical. The, or, precisely, the Copernican revolution continues. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It continues in every way, out outside and inside. And you know, in fact, what you just said is is true not just for Pluto and not just for the planets. What we're learning on Earth is that it could be that there's a lot more life underneath the surface of the Earth than above. Absolutely. And again, it's, it's deep it's biosphere. Think, and it's so amazing. We live in a time when. When we're just discovering that, when people kind of feel like, oh, well, we know everything about the earth, we don't. We don't. It, the, 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 the nature of life, even on our home planet, is still ripe for discovery. And if you just put a little more thought into it, you think about these, these ocean worlds that have their oceans on the interior. In many ways, they're actually better suited to the development of life. They don't require a magnetosphere for protection. Yeah. Uh, they don't care if they're catastrophic planetary impacts yeah. because they're up hundreds of kilometers on the surface. They're not going to damage the well, ocean. As, as, and as people have said in the origin of life on Earth, it's, it meant most many people think it originated deep in the ocean. And one of the reasons would be that it's at least protected from some but This impacts. is much more protection. Yeah, yeah. And in fact, those worlds don't even care if there's a star around. You could have interstellar planets that's, yeah. that have been ejected but interior is still warm and having an ocean. You don't care about stellar flares. You don't care about nearby supernovae. They're actually pretty hospitable for the development of, of life. Whether, I mean, be horrible for astronomy because yeah. there's a roof over your yeah, head. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah, I was just going to say, I mean, the astronomers there would say, wow, look at the, look there, at the universe. It's full of water. That's, there is no universe. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. just all Well, their all universe us. would be their water. But. Yeah, yeah.